Um, welcome, everybody. Uh, it's, it's good to have you here. This is a really important project for all of us, uh, uh, an initiative that, that really has been started at the federal level, uh, and that the Pennsylvania actually has been the, the, the first state to, to join in in the It's On Us campaign. Um, but it's something that all of us have to join together. This is uh, really important, and I appreciate everyone being here. Pedro, I didn't say hi to you. It's good to have you here. <laughs> and of course, the star of the show, Coach Jay Wright. Uh, and, I, and I just want to say a few words, and I'm going to turn it over to, to him, and then we have a few other speakers. But this, this initiative, It's On Us, has three goals. First, we want to improve the awareness, prevention, reporting, and response systems in the Commonwealth to campus sexual violence. Second, we want to remove or at least reduce barriers that prevent survivors from reporting sexual assault. And third, we want to demonstrate that we are committed at all levels in this Commonwealth to the task of eradicating this scourge from everywhere in Pennsylvania. We need to treat sexual assault in our schools and colleges and throughout Pennsylvania as the big, serious problem that it truly is. We need to agree that we're not going to put up with it any longer, anywhere in Pennsylvania. And that's because sexual assault has a corrosive effect on every one of us, not just the ones who are assaulted, but everyone in Pennsylvania. An estimated, let me give you some statistics, an estimated one in five college women are assaulted. Nearly 20% of young women between the ages of 14 and 17 are sexually assaulted, mostly by someone the survivor knows, a classmate, a supposed friend, a relative, or a family member. And the impact is serious and it's widespread. Survivors are more likely to experience immediate and long-term health issues like post-traumatic stress syndrome. 94% actually of the survivors uh, suffer from that. 75% of the survivors suffer from depression. 35 to 50% suffer from suicidal tendencies. The point is that safety is a fundamental civil right. It's a civil right. And sexual assault is a clear violation of that civil right. When that violation occurs for any member of our community, it occurs for every member of our community. It violates the right of every one of us to a safe society. Pennsylvania must take a stand against sexual assault, and that's what the Pennsylvania It's On Us campaign is about. It's about us as a commonwealth saying that this act is entirely unacceptable to the way of life that we envision for ourselves and for everyone else in our community. When these acts are not taken seriously or when they're ignored, victims are singled out for humiliation and those who have committed those crimes go unpunished. That's what happened at Stanford University, for example, where a member of the university swim team was caught in the act of raping a young woman. He received only six months in a county jail with probation. While his victim will have to live with, for the rest of her life with the consequences of feeling violation and the danger that that person caused her. These kinds of leniencies send a message to the community that we are not, in fact, serious about preventing sexual assault and safeguarding our young people. These kinds of leniencies are absolutely positively unacceptable. The It's On Us Pan Pennsylvania campaign is about delivering that message across the Commonwealth. So we need to end sexual assault, and my administration is committed to that goal. We have great partners in this effort who are committed to doing just that. Since January, over 800 people, including 200 colleges, universities, and school districts in Pennsylvania have signed the pledge to join the It's On Us campaign. And I got to say, before, Coach, before you speak, Villanova was one of the very first universities to join that pledge. My administration has engaged them in, in an effort to, to expand this list. Over the past six months, we have held roundtables across the Commonwealth to hear from survivors, students, healthcare professionals, and policymakers trying to create a safer environment, uh, an environment where sexual assault does not take place. To that end, I have proposed a million dollars, one million dollars in the 16-17 budget to invest in community partnerships that will help prevent sexual violence to remove barriers to reporting in schools across Pennsylvania. Additionally, I've directed the Department of Education, Pedro's here, to provide support and technical assistance by administering the program and align state level resources to better support school districts and post-secondary institutions. In the near future, my administration will introduce a legislative package designed to ensure the safety and the well-being of students and young people, again, throughout Pennsylvania. 
This package will target the enormous number of statutes and regulations that already cover different types of harassment and violence to identify opportunities to prevent sexual violence. I am determined to make Pennsylvania a shining example to the rest of the world as to what a committed citizenry can do to make our world better. It's truly on all of us to accomplish this. It's all of our jobs. So let's get to work on this. And thanks for your commitment, all of you here, all of you behind me, to your commitment for freeing our commonwealth of the problem of campus sexual assault. Now, I am very proud to turn this podium over to the person you really want to hear from, and that is <laughs> the coach of the Villanova Wildcats, Coach Jay Wright. Coach, thank you very much. Thank you, Governor. Uh, it is, it's an honor for us uh, to be here today. Our, our team is, has been uh, all over the Capitol, met everyone, and, and it's been an amazing day. But um, this, what we're talking about today is, is most important. Um, as, as Governor Wolf said, it, Villanova joined um, him in, in this uh, fight uh, to prevent sexual violence. Um, initially, as soon as he started this, campaign and it's very important to our president father peter donahue our athletic director mark jackson is here today uh, at villanova uh, providing a, a safe uh, atmosphere and a safe uh, in, environment for for women and men um, to, uh, to to live their lives in in, in, a, in a nice safe community uh, is important to us and uh, we 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 have um ways for our students to report. We, we have uh, responsibilities uh, put on our students uh, to look out for one another. And it, it is on all of us at Villanova, administrators, coaches, students, all of us to uh, prevent sexual violence and, and to create a society uh, that is safe and enjoyed by everyone. And this is, this is a, a great um, way to do it. And, and this, is, this, is our, this is our goal, uh, to work with uh, Governor Wolf and, and all the other great constituencies in, in the Commonwealth, um, the universities and the high schools uh, to, to um, set an example for, for a nice, safe community. So we're proud to be a part of this and we're proud to join you, Governor Wolf. Thank you very much. Coach, thank you very much. Uh, it's, it's wonderful to have you, uh, especially, and your team join this, this effort. This is really important for all of us in Pennsylvania. So let me, let me now introduce Senator Judy Schwenk to say a few words on behalf of this initiative. Senator Schwenk. Thank you, thank you very much. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm really, really pleased to be here and honored that the governor would select me to be the representative from the Senate who would speak about this issue. Um, I still recall the day in January when the governor kicked off the It's On Us campaign in Pennsylvania, the very first state, as he said, at Elizabethtown College. It was a great day, and the dialogue afterwards was even more important, I think. It's On Us is about making a commitment, a public commitment and a personal one, to defeating the acceptance, denial, or trivialization of sexual assault. The It's On Us campaign is part of a national conversation. High profile cases like the ones at institutions like Baylor and Stanford University have brought the issue to the forefront, but it's not new. It's familiar to many of us and many of the people who are standing behind me. We've been dealing with this for a long time. This is a new way of approaching it. As many of us know, the question is not, what was the victim doing? What was the victim wearing? Why was the victim even there? The question has to be, what can we do to stop it? What can I do to prevent it? That's the point of the It's On Us pledge to intervene instead of being a bystander, to recognize that any time there is no consent, this is sexual assault and it's a crime, to create an environment where sexual assault is totally unacceptable and victims are supported, never blamed or shamed. We're still not doing enough today as a society. Although we are approaching 30 years since the Federal Clary Act to address sexual assault on college campuses first became law, 
there's still a disparity in the number of sexual assaults reported on campus versus the number that are actually occurring. In fact, only about one in five sexual assaults are reported to law enforcement. There have been continuing concerns with the enforcement of the Clary Act by federal officials, and of course, that's why I have introduced Senate Bill 202 to give Pennsylvania officials the ability to enforce the Clary requirements through Pennsylvania law. I've also introduced legislation, Senate Resolution 237, to require a Pennsylvania study on campus sexual assault and how we can respond to it. We, the public, as well as the government, have to hold colleges, university, technical schools accountable and make sure that they partner with victims' programs, local law enforcement, and women's health centers effectively and openly. And I'm pleased to say that I know that is occurring, but we can always do better. Survivors of sexual assault are not just simply numbers or statistics. They're our family, our friends, neighbors, and we have a responsibility to them, to each other, and to ourselves. It's on us. That means all of us to change the culture around sexual assault. I applaud Governor Wolf for initiating this first statewide campaign and the multitude of schools in this Commonwealth that have taken the It's On Us pledge. We can change attitudes towards sexual violence and sexual assault. It's time to get beyond talk and get to action. Taking this pledge is the first step. Thank you, everyone. Now I'd like to call on Representative Dean to say a few words on behalf of the initiative. Thank you. Representative Dean. Thank you. Good afternoon and thank you, Governor. I'm delighted to be here and to stand with you. Uh, my name is Madeline Dean. I'm state representative in Montgomery County. I represent Abington and Upper Dublin Townships. I'm delighted to be here because of what Governor Wolf has done with the It's On Us initiative. Let's be clear. It was Governor Wolf who was the first governor. We are the first state in this campaign following the federal campaign to promote awareness, education, action against sexual assault. I stand with my colleagues to pledge my support. It's on me. It's on us to end sexual assault. I'm especially pleased to stand here with Coach Jay Wright, uh, coach of the 2016 NCAA Men's Basketball Champion Villanova Wildcat, a man whose leadership on and off the court has earned him the respect of Philadelphians and fans of college basketball across this nation. And it's not just for his year-long tan or his impeccable suits. <laughs> coach, I know the coach had to step out, but he and his team are role models for us, and I thank him for the inspiring, joyful ride. Before I became a state representative, I taught writing and rhetoric at LaSalle University for 10 years, so I'm keenly aware of sexual assault issues and I'm invested in teaching students so that they can make a difference to end it. We need look only at the recent headlines to be reminded that sexual assault and the stigma that it places on victims continue to be a corrosive, as our governor says, serious issue across college campuses and elsewhere. I, I ask you to read the letter. The governor talked about the Stanford case. There's a victim's impact statement that is extraordinary. It's a 12-page victim's impact statement. It is an educational tool. Uh, I ask you to read the painfully brutal, eloquent 12-page victim's impact statement of the Stanford student who was raped by another student in January of 2015. Two college mates on bicycles came by and rescued her. As some have suggested, make your own children read it before going to college. Many have said, make your sons read it. It will open your eyes and break your heart. And so the success of this initiative depends on our partnerships with the very people standing here and all of you in the room and, and many beyond that, with leaders and mentors of our college campuses, like Jay Wright, to be a, a vocal role model for respect and for decency. Thank you for your commitment to preserving the dignity and safety of all people. Governor, I am honored to stand as a legislator with you uh, and as a commissioner on the Pennsylvania Commission for Women to raise my voice for victims and the vulnerable. But more than that, I stand here as a mother and as a grandmother 
to say we can and we must do better. So thank you, Governor Wolf, Coach Wright, Senator Schwank, uh, and I see our Lieutenant Governor and so many others for your powerful lead. Thanks. And now finally, let me introduce our Lieutenant Governor, Mike Stack. Well, good afternoon, everybody, and I'm so pleased to be here to uh, lend my voice in support of this extremely important campaign. And it was great to see uh, Coach Wright, who is the uh, coach of Villanova uh, championship basketball team, and that's my alma mater from law school. And uh, Governor Wolf, thank you so much for your great leadership on this, this vitally important issue. So I'm, I'm really proud to be associated with such an important campaign in raising public awareness and, uh, you know, we all know college is a very special time for young people. It's four years spent on a campus, uh, living away from home in dorms or apartments among friends and spending days in academic pursuits and, and enjoying uh, an exciting social life. It's a lot of new freedom for young people, but it's, it's different in many ways uh, from regular family and adult world that uh, most people experience. But just because the college experience is separate and unique, we cannot allow it to be a place where the normal rules don't apply when it comes to sexual assault. We can't allow a mindset to take hold among young men and young women that college is like Vegas, where anything that happens uh, stays on campus. No. Sexual assault on campus does, in fact, have consequences, and it can scar the victim and the perpetrator in many different ways, as we've seen from these most recent cases, and those consequences linger for life. So, as you said, Governor, and as our representatives here have said today, it's on us to get the message out to students from day one of their stay in college. We have to make sure that they understand what is not acceptable, and to make sure they understand their responsibilities and impress upon them what it means to respect another person's rights and to respect another person. In short, we have to help them by educating them on this topic. After all, education is what college is supposed to be all about. So it's not some abstract problem. We're talking about our daughters and our sons so as we close, I thank everyone who's participated today, and I call upon you to spread the word that non-consensual sex on campus is sexual assault, which is a crime. It's our joint obligation and our mission to prevent it, and it's on us. And I know Pennsylvania will meet that challenge. Thanks, everyone. Okay, the, the point is this is something that we face as Pennsylvanians. This is not the Pennsylvania we want, a Pennsylvania where sexual assault is permitted, where it's condoned, where it's tolerated. This is not the Pennsylvania that any of us wants. Everyone in this building is trying to do what we can to make Pennsylvania a better place, the kind of place for families, the kind of place where we want to attract our neighbors, we want to be proud of, of showing, uh, showing it off. We cannot have the Pennsylvania we need it to be as long as sexual violence exists. We need to, to eliminate it, and we need to make this It's On Us campaign succeed. So thank you very much, all of you, for your support. Thank you for signing the pledge uh, and making the pledge, and thank you to everyone in Pennsylvania for joining this, this effort. So now I'd be happy to take questions, and I think all of us up here would be happy to take questions. Are there any, any questions? All right. Thank you very much for being here. That's, this is the one, best press conference I've ever been to. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.